Hi everybody, PJ here with another video and a review of one of the companies that I went to visit while I was out and about. Uh, once again I'm out in Sheffield and we're at a company called SBD. Now this company seemed to be concerned that I was a security risk and I could be a threat to their company. Now the way this chap carries on all the way through the video you would think that they've carrying high value goods, you know, uh, silver, gold, cash, they've got a warehouse full of computers, they've got very high tech uh, intellectual property inside, etc, etc. Now if you want to find out what they actually do here, you need to wait to the end of the video to find out. Anyway, let's get started. This is when this chap first approached me. Can I help you? You want something? Can I help you please? I don't know. You seem to be quite interested in our building. I am, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice looking building. What's he interested in, please? I'm just having a look around the building, finding out what you do and trying to find out a bit more about the building. Okay, in what reference, please? Well, what difference does it make? Well, you're interested. Obviously, there's a security issue, isn't there? If you're all going around filming our premises. Why is there a security issue? I'm not trying well, to come on site. Well... So, one of the first things he asks for are my details. But as you'll see as the video goes on, he wants to know who I am, but he's not willing to tell me who he is, who he is, who he is. <laughs> Something wrong with my teeth, it's like this every bloody video, isn't it? Anyway, he's not willing to tell me who he is, um, but he demands to know who I am. Anyway, let's watch a little bit more and see how everything unfolds. But if you're collecting data and you're looking at our locks and you're looking in the background of our building, so have you, do you have any details, please? Yeah, I've got details. Yeah, can you please share those? No, no. Now, when I tell him I'm going to fly the drone over the top, he seems to get really, really concerned. Uh, security issues, etc., etc. You know, you've been filming my gates, you've been filming around the back of our factory. Uh, and he really, really wants to know why, and he wants to know why I'm going to fly the drone over the top. And then when I tell him I'm going to do it because I get paid to do it, he's like flabbergasted. He can't understand that somebody would pay me to do what I'm doing. He doesn't understand that YouTube and things like that pay me when I go out and make these videos. You're not going to do that? No, no. I am going to fly a drone over the top as well and have a look. Yes. In why? Uh, so I can get a better view. Have a look all around the site. Right. right. Is there a problem with that? Yes, actually there is. What kind of problem is that? Well, obviously I'd like to know the why you were interested so much into our building. Well, I like making videos. Uh, in what context? Where are you posting those videos? Uh, social media. Right. And why? I get paid for it. Oh, do you? Yeah. So, once again, he starts demanding information on who I am, pulls his phone out and starts taking photographs of me. So I give him a front view, a side view, ask him if he wants a view from behind as well and smile at him. Um, am I taking the mickey? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But, you know, he's complaining that I'm actually making videos uh, and filming his site, but he's quite happy to take photographs of me. You know, I don't care if he takes photographs of me, but it seems a little bit, how can we put it, one-sided. Right, okay, well, I would like to know, have some information on you, please. Yeah, I don't doubt you would. And... Do you want me to say cheese? Hang, yeah, hang on, there you go, side view as well, look, there you go. Okay. Do you want yeah. to reverse view? <laughs> Once he's taken my photo, he asks who I am, what's my name, what's my social media account, but will not give me any information, won't tell me who he is or anything. So, um, once again, he's making demands, after taking my photo, to know who I am, but won't tell me who he is. I mean, it could be anybody. I never saw him walk from the factory, he could have just walked off the street and demanded to know who I am. Say your name then, uh, and your account. Uh, no. Well, you said your social media and you're getting paid for it, so you're, you're providing information. So what right do you have to ask me for my information? Who are you? 
Well, you're wanting to promote your social media account. Right, you're wanting to know who I am, so who are you? Yeah. I'm, I'm just very interested. Good. You'll be able to see it on video. Pardon? You'll be able to see it on video. So then I ask, uh, just basic information, and I said, uh, do you sponsor the world's strongest man? That's because there's somebody just walked up behind him with a T-shirt on that says, world's strongest man. And I asked if that's the, uh, the gentleman that's on Game of Thrones, and he said yes. So I said, does he come here very often? But no, he wouldn't tell me. I don't know why. But no, he didn't want to tell me. Do you well, sponsor you World's you? Strongest Man then, do you? Yes, we do. Oh, brilliant. So you'll know that if you looked into our company. Right. Is that him that we're on uh, Game of Thrones? Uh, yes. Ah, big lad, isn't he? Yes, he is. Does he come here very often? That's none of your business. So once again, he starts talking about me uh, filming the yard and filming the gates and saying that uh, it could be perceived that I wanted to gain entry to their property. To which I turn around and say, if I wanted entrance to your property, I would have just walked in, basically. So, uh, I don't know where it's coming from with that one. Oh, oh just a question. Yeah, I mean, you're ask, firing loads of questions at me. Yeah, and I'm because, just... because you have just been examining our locks. You've been discussing our rear yard and the entrance to our property. You've been filming entrances to our property. Right. Which is, could be perceived that you want to gain entry into the property. If I wanted to or gain you... entry to property, I would have walked on. So then he tells me that I'm actually stood on their property, where we are. Uh, and I ask him, OK, is there any information? You know, where's the information that says I'm on your property? Is there any signs up or anything? Uh, I'm outside your gates. I'm outside your fencing. Um, how am I supposed to know that I'm on your private property? I'm afraid I'm not very psychic. I'm sorry. Well, you're actually on our land right now. Oh, it doesn't say that. I'm outside no, no. the gates and outside the barriers. You are currently stood on our land. Right. So and where, where's, where's the information that says that? Well, you've got a boundary there. Where's the boundary? Where the hedge is. Why, is there a sign up there saying it's a boundary? For, for you to go across a boundary doesn't mean that it needs to be a sign. A boundary is a legal line. Right. And you have gone over that legal line. So how so do I know... So you are now so stood on private property. So how do I, I know it's a legal line? I'm informing you of the fact. So how do I know that it's a legal line until you come along and inform me? That is irrelevant at this moment of time. Uh, no, it's you, not. I have told you, you are on private property right now. Right. And you have encroached onto our private property. Right. And you are, while on our private property, right. filming deeper into our building right so you're filming within our pro within our boundary not just within our boundary you're filming into the back of our building and i don't know what your content you've taken whether you've been trying to film through windows or what you've done right not sharing that so once again he's complaining that i've not told him who i am and that i'm complaining uh, <laughs> I'm uploading this material. I'm uploading this material to social media. It don't like that idea at all, you know. Um, like I say, you'll find out what they sell and what they do at the end of this video. So hang on, and you'll find out. It's really, really interesting when you consider how much is kicking off. And you're not even telling me who you are. I don't have I... to tell you who I am. But you, you seem to. Uh tell me you are posting this on social media right for views right so sure that is open content that you are putting out there well it's not out yet it's not open content yet so what is the nature of your i've uh, i've just told you i make videos for social media yeah industrial estates right and then once again it starts talking about a security risk because of all the high value goods that they have. <laughs> oh, this is such fun. And do you not believe there's a security risk in you doing that? Mm, no. 
You don't believe that? No. So then I ask him if he's heard of Google Earth, and he says, of course I've heard of Google Earth. Now, if you live under a rock somewhere, Google Earth go around and take videos, A, on the ground with cars with big cameras on the top, filming everything, and they fly aeroplanes over the top, top and take uh, aerial photographs of everything as well. And it's basically so that they can sell the advertising, you know, so you can put your company on the map and, and then they sell the advertising for your company and everything else. But, you know, it's all right for Google to do it, but it's not okay for me to do it, you know. And then he proceeds to tell me that Google Earth protects privacy. The only thing that they do, if you complain, is blur out the name of the company and that's it and they don't show individual people but there again you know they still go and they video everything they don't go out and ask every company if you know if they um, actually want to be on google earth you know or google maps they just go out and do it have you ever heard of google earth of course i've heard of google earth. right okay so you're on google earth and, so? you, and you aren't. So do you and think? So do you? Great, and you're going into much greater detail so, than Google Earth does. So and Google Earth actually protects people and property by hiding sensitive content, which you are not doing. So do you think that more people look at my stuff on social media than they do on Google Earth? But Google Earth. Right. actually hides sensitive content. I'm not giving out any sensitive content. Why aren't you? Because oh, what? you're saying you're actually discussing our lock system, our gauge entry system, right. and filming that online. That is well, I can see that from up there. What difference does that make? So eventually he asks me to leave their property, which I do, I don't mind. And then he starts talking to me again. <laughs> He'll make his mind up sooner or later. I think we're going nowhere. I'm asking you to leave our property now. That's fine. Can you please leave? Yeah, that's fine. But there's no, there's no way you can stop me standing on the footpath and videoing or flying a drone over. I didn't say I could. Right. So, but you'd still have a problem with it, wouldn't you? So still waffling on about security. And I said to him, is this a secure build? <laughs> He's not working again. <laughs> I said to him, is this a secure building? And he said, yes. So I said, well, if it's a secure, build, if it's a secure building, what are you worried about? And he looked at me and I kind of thought, gotcha. You're talking bloody rubbish. I obviously would have an issue with you possibly posing a security risk to our business. So what kind of security risk am I posing? By sharing access points, security issues, if there are any, any CCTV. Is it a secure building? Yes, it is a secure So what's your worry? You're right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You've just talked yourself into that one, mate. I haven't I've talked myself into yeah, anything. Yeah, of course you, you have. I haven't talked myself into anything. Just You're on about that. security issues, and then I'm you no. say it's a secure building. That's, well, so what's, if it's a secure building, what's your worry? No, I'm not worried about it. So if you're not worried, what's, what's your worry with me f filming and videoing? You... <laughs> yeah, you're stuck for an answer. No, Come no, on, I'm mate. not stuck for an answer. I'm not, <laughs> no. I, this clearly isn't a constructive conversation where you will actually have a reasonable debate about it. You well, how not, can I, how can I discuss, give you a... You will not discuss it. All you're doing is arguing with me and I'll, trying to trick me into saying something. That isn't a constructive two-way conversation. That is you thinking you are clever and trying to manipulate the conversation to your own means. Right. And so, I'm not prepared to enter into that conversation. Right. So once again, we enter into a discussion on who's who, who he is and who I am. And then he proceeds to tell me that I can easily find out who he is because he's on their uh, website where all the staff are listed and photographs of them and everything. And I said, yeah, that's fine. You can easily find out who I am. I'm not hard to find. 
You know, I'm all over YouTube. It's not like I'm trying to hide who I am. Um, but he still, you know, he still thinks that uh, I'm doing something dodgy for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just videoing an industrial estate. So you come along and asking me a dozen questions. Yes, because you stood on my property. Right. And you expect me to answer. Now, I just asked a simple question. Who are you? And you won't and answer you, that. And you won't tell me who you are. Because you won't tell me who you are. You could easily find out who I am. You can easily find out who I am. I'm not I hard to no, find. No, you, you, I'm stood here in front of a building which lists its employees on, on various chains of social media. Right. You could easily find out who I am. I can't find out. I don't know you from anyone. Right. So you have come on to our property. Right. And you've come on and started filming. And I've asked you point blank who you are. And you have evaded any every question except saying that you're going to put it on social media right because i've obviously got i'll have an issue about it. i've got over a thousand videos on social media right i'm not hard to find just like you fine just like you i'm not hard to find i've got over a thousand videos on okay i'm dead easy to find i'm dead easy to find on all social media mm -hmm. facebook youtube TikTok. yeah let's well, see i don't Actively, I'm not actively trying to. Find well, is that my fault or yours? Yeah, you see. This I mean, is, I don't this go. Isn't a construction no, 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 no. I don't go on it? your website to find out who you are. But you're. I'm not interested until now into your content. You are clearly interested in our business, so that is very different. You're the person who's instigated this interaction, this conversation, because you are interested in our business. So then he proceeds to tell me that the company he works at is an interesting business and wonders why people are interested in it. You can't have it both ways. You can't have an interesting business and people not being interested in what they do and everything else. You know, if you've been in an interesting business, then people want to know about you. You know, it's it's like any of these big uh, companies, people are interested, people want to know. And then he's surprised when people want to know. <laughs> Crazy. You're of course the... I'm interested. Isn't it an interesting business? Of course it's an interesting business. All right, businesses so, are interested. So, right, so why wouldn't somebody be interested in it then? What I'm concerned about is what you're interested in is just basically what you do here in the building well i don't want to go inside but, i don't but, but i don't want to have a look at your manufacturing we, processes but if you're interested in what we do here then actually you'd get greater research online than you would filming our locks on our gates right wouldn't you because nope. actually that's not an interest in what we do here that you haven't taken interest in our business you have just walked onto our property and started filming the perimeter and into the building, into the land, that is a very different than you taking an interest into our business. Is it? Yes. Because no, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And this is where we clearly aren't going to have a reasonable conversation. So once again, he asks me to leave and I've, I've no problem with that. You know, if this is his land and he asks me to leave, then, you know, I'm uh, bound by law to leave. But I did tell him that I can stand on the footpath and video and fly the drone, etc, etc. And that's probably the end of the conversation because he, he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Um, you know, it just, it, every time I say something to him, he stops and you can see the cogs going in his head while he's trying to think of a reply. And, and he's struggling, he's struggling to uh, have a reasonable conversation with me. All he wants to do is find out who I am. He's, he's no interest in promoting the business or anything like that. All he wants to do is find out who I am and what I'm doing out there with a camera. So that's why I'm asking you to leave? Yeah, that's fine. I'll leave, mate. That's fine. I'll go and stand on the footpath and I'll send me drone up and get some aerial footage of the place and then I'll be on my way and thank you. 
So you're going to tell me you've got a problem with the drone now? I, I have got a problem with you and your activities. Yes, I do. Right, OK. So can you please get off our property? Yeah, yeah. So once I told you, this is the boundary line. Can you please get off the Right, so you probably now want to know what high-end goods they uh, retail and manufacture there. I think they do some manufacturing. They probably import a lot of stuff. Are you ready? Is it gold? Is it diamonds? Is it silver? Is it any other kind of precious metal? Is it intellectual property? Is it computers, laptops, mobile phones, anything like that? No! I'll tell you what it is. This <laughs> they sell the elastic bands that go on their elbows and on the knees for people that are like powerlifters and bodybuilders. They sell the the, bait, uh, the belts and things for uh, bodybuilders. They sell T-shirts, you know, really high-end, expensive items. <laughs> and all this for stuff that you wear in the gym. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe. And guess what? I'll see you there in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.